All right. All right. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. How's everyone doing? I hope you guys are excited to be here as much as I am. I'm seeing some of the comments here. Some of you guys saying I have all day for the webinar. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, okay. So now if, I hope everyone can see me just fine and uh, uh, see everything, you know, the video quality and everything is clear. Now, I know it's a little bit early for you guys and, uh, and, and that's okay. And that's okay. And I need you to be okay with that too. There are times where things don't go as per schedule because the markets will not be as per your schedule. Okay, you need to understand that. If you come home from work and you expect to trade and make some money, it's not going to work on your schedule. You need to know that. And you need to be uncomfortable and okay with that. Okay, you need to understand that the market works in certain cycles, as you have learned from the preparation. How many of you guys in here have done the preparation? We got 370 people and climbing very, very quickly coming into the room. Uh, so we'll give it a few minutes for them to get in. Okay, how many of you guys here have done uh, the preparation work? Okay, the foundational work uh, that we had put below this video as the link. Okay, you'll be surprised. Many didn't do it. Many didn't do it. So if you can't prepare for a simple webinar, you're going to conquer trading? You're going to go against the one percenters with this type of mentality. I know it's a free webinar. I should charge you for this. But what is your, what is your requirements? What is your quality of work? Who are you to get up and say, you know what? I want to do trading. I want to, I want to fight the big fight. I want to make the big bucks. Why? What can you do? Apart from Googling all day long, looking for the shortcut, the best strategy, the easiest strategy, the most profitable strategy, the most consistent strategy, the strategy that never fails. How has that helped you so far? Okay. And yet you're here in another webinar or will be tomorrow in another webinar and tomorrow in another webinar, buying another course, another robot, another system, another guru. At the same time, not one moment do you sit down and be like, what am I doing? Do I really want to enter this industry? What if it requires 50,000 hours of my blood, sweat, and tears to do this? Because I am now starting a new career. I might be doing X, Y, and Z in the past, and I've done well in that industry because I've worked for it. And then to a certain level, I became comfortable. How many of you guys in this room are comfortable? Okay, how many guys in this room are comfortable? If, if you have something that you rather be doing, then you're comfortable. If you have something saying, oh, I'll just watch the recording, then you are comfortable. If you have things to say, I'd rather do this now, I can always just watch the recording later, then you are comfortable. It means you don't want it bad enough. Good. You'll be wiped out very quickly. You'll be wiped out very quickly. Don't take my word for it. What has it done so far? What has it done so far? Because they're the one percenters who are actually there. They will skip birthdays. They will skip anything and everything to be there, hunt, and kill. That's what you're up against. That's the work ethics you're up against. So if you're looking for a simple, easy strategy that someone's probably put their blood, sweat, and tears to just give it to you like that, and then, and then you are expecting, oh, now I'm going to be ultra successful. Let me just quickly watch two more Netflix episodes of Game of Thrones, and then I'll, and then I'll look at this trading stuff. I'm saving you money. Quit now. Quit now. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So, but yet many of you guys are still here. Okay. Many of you guys are still here. And you know, I know 50% or more of this room is not going to make it. You know that. I know that. Everybody knows that. Okay. What I personally like, there are two types of students I can really, really help. The type of students who are hardcore. 
I can help them very, very easily. I can help them, the ones who are relentless. Because the reason why, how many of you guys, you know, before I get into the details of all of this, how many of you guys in this room can actually say, Naveen, I'm noticing the switch in your delivery style in uh, trading from what I have known you for the last 10, 20 years. The, the style of delivery has been changing. How many of you guys can uh, notice that? And you know why that's happening? You know why that's happening? Because for the last 10 years, I've been babying people, every single guy coming into this industry. I'm looking at them. I'm reading their emails. I'm, I'm understanding. And all the person is doing is complaining, 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 complaining. And when I give them some work to do, no action is being done. And I'm sitting here and I'm supposed to say, good job. Keep up the good work. I looked myself in the mirror and I was like, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Why are you helping people who can't be helped, not don't want to be helped, can't be helped? There is no future for them, cannot be helped. Do you understand? They're too comfortable and they just throw a little bit of cash around saying, oh, I'm going to do this course because I want to be a trader today. And I'm supposed to tend to these people? No, we're done. We're done. Enough, enough. So the two type of people, so that was my epiphany. I was like, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I still love to teach, but I'm going to be there for those who want to make a difference. Those who want to make a difference. So the two types of crowds I can really deal with is the hardcore souls, because in the last 10 years, the, the students who have made the most progress are the hardcore students. The hunger, the desire, the students who cannot take no for an answer. The students who don't get offended if I get mad at them and say, no, do this again, again, again. Here's more homework. What the hell is this? Again. They don't get offended. They take it as a challenge and they do more. They fight back. The hardcore students, they're very easy to train. Then there's the students who are there. They have no hopes, no goals, no nothing. They're just dead. I can revive those guys as well. I can revive those guys as well because they just need a little bit of discipline in their life and they're back to normal. The ones I cannot help are the half dead people in the middle. The half dead people in the middle, which is I want to be a trader. I will do the work required, but I'm half asleep. I'm not awake. I'm not curious. Okay, Naveen told me to do this, so I'll just do this, but not an ounce more, not an inch more. The half dead souls, those are very hard because those half dead souls are comfortable in their life, which means the right thing to do is to grow. You know, everyone on YouTube is talking about growth mindset, growth mindset, growth mindset. So I need to grow. But there's a part of my brain that says, well, why work so hard? What is the meaning of life? I don't think by trading, I'm not a luxury person. How many of you guys in this room talk like that? Oh, I, I don't like luxury. I'm in this for different reasons. What are you doing here? What, what are you doing here? You, you hate money and yet you're in the money industry. What are you doing here? Okay, if you're going to come into this industry with a split mind, half and half, that says, I want to be successful, but I have a whole different conception of what successful means. I'm going to bring my baggage to successful. How many people do you know bring their baggage to be successful that are successful? Zero, 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 zero. Don't bring your baggage. Don't bring your baggage. But how many people that you know are successful that don't think like that? All of them. All of them. Okay? You need to understand this. If you are in this because you want to make a shitload of money and you want to make a lot of money, then you need to be true to yourself and not be like, yeah, I, I do want to do that, but, but, but let's not say it out loud because what will they think about me? I'm a money-hungry person. What does it matter what they think? 
How do you want to live your life? Why are you so afraid of what people will think? So I want to tell you, I want, I want to do the Forex industry. You know how many students I've had come to me that says, Naveen, I'm doing this training with you, but I, I don't want you to like give my name out uh, in testimonials or anything like that. Why? You don't want to be seen in that light? So then you're never going to make it. I've never had a student who's made it, who, who's been in that sort of half fear, half I want to learn, but I don't want to show it because money is bad, aka I should never have money. But if I want to have money, but I, money is evil. This split mentality is going to make sure you never learn anything. Okay? You have to understand this. You have to understand it. You must be true to yourself, down to the bone, to every cell of your body. Do not BS yourself. Do not BS yourself. You can BS the world as much as you want. If you BS yourself, you will die. Do you understand? You have to be true to yourself. And if it has been a long time since you haven't been true to yourself, be true now. Be true now. Be like that crazy grandfather that you might have that says everything that's on his mind. Be that grandfather. Be that guy who doesn't know how to put a filter on his mouth because he has to speak his mind. Be that guy. Okay? And do not be afraid of what people will think. Because if what people will think, well, take a look at the world. You want to be that type of people? That normalcy? You want normal? I mean, you dream of extraordinary, but you want to be accepted by the normal. Why? I want to show you a few things. I want to show you a few things. Okay? Okay, our... Our society works in a very funny, funny, funny way, okay? Very funny way. Here's, here's the edges of society. The extreme poor, the extreme rich. Here's the normal. Here's the middle line, okay? When you're close to the middle line, which is what is expected by everybody, be nice, be kind, don't say this, don't do that. Don't flash your money. Don't, uh, you know, help the poor in a, in a bad way. You know, like there, there is sort of this expectancy. That is called the normalcy, right? That the, What is normal changes year by year based on social media, Instagram, and all that stuff. It changes, right? Because what we like or what we think should be done, what is nice, what is well-received by society keeps changing. So that is a normal line. If you make money, and you come slightly above the normal line and you get a little bit of confidence going in you, that word confidence will be replaced with ego. People will look at you and say, who does he think he is just because he's made a few bucks and this and that? If you go from this just a little bit away from the line to a lot away from the line, suddenly, Every Tom, Dick, and Harry on the planet says, when my kid grows up, I want him to be like the Zuckerberg. I want him to be like Bill Gates. Suddenly, they worship you. Suddenly, they worship you. That is society. You want to be like them? You want to be like those people who have no moral grounds whatsoever? You go down a little bit. Okay, a little bit. Someone says, hey, man, I need some help. Oh, man. Don't, don't help him. If you help him one time, he's going to ask for money all the time. It's going to be a big headache. No, no, no. Don't help him. But what is this? I don't, I don't like hanging out with these type of people. You go much lower. The person is poor or handicapped or on the streets. Oh, he's, he's so poor. I need to help him. Why aren't you helping? Why isn't anyone helping? Why isn't the rich helping the poor? Suddenly, this love generates as if it was always there. But just slightly below your expected line, you will kick that guy. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong in this chat. Is that right or wrong? So I want to ask you a question. You want to be like that line? You want to conform yourself to the morons in that line being very straight, 
and they're the way of they the, the way they think changes every day. So I want to ask yourself, who are you? Who are you? What do you want in life? It's your life. Not their life. It's your life. What do you want from it? How do you want to live? Because every day you wake up, someone will tell you you're doing something more wrong, right? Someone will keep telling you you're doing more wrong. Hey, you've, you've ruined the way you raise your kids. You've ruined the planet. You've ruined society. You've ruined uh, social media. You've ruined everything. You wake up with this baggage of, I'm such a horrible person. Why? Why do you let people tell you that all day, every day, and then you just wake up and believe that baggage? You need to stand up for yourself. You need to stand up for yourself. Otherwise, it will be a very tough life. Okay, it'll be a very tough life. This is something that's not supposed to be said. It wasn't supposed to be said because people were generally okay and tough. But the, the generation that we're breeding now is a little bit uh, too soft. Is a little bit too soft. Would you, would you guys agree? It's, it's a little bit too soft that a little loss in a strategy and suddenly, oh, oh, this strategy doesn't work. Um, uh, I, I, don't, I don't like this feeling. Um, next strategy, Google, chat GPT, what is the best tr trading strategy out there in the world? What is the easiest way to make money in the world? What is easy this? What is fastest this? What is quickest this? What is... And these adjectives become your vocabulary. What is the easiest way to six packs? What is the fastest way to da 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 da? What is the nine best ways to stay healthy? What is the quickest exercise to be healthy? Everything is shortcut, 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 shortcut. I want to tell you one thing it's good that the world thinks like that because all you have to do is not think like that. And you have everything you can possibly dream of. Everything. You just have to not think like that. Okay? If it requires 100 hours of work, you say, no problem, I'll put 200 hours of work. Do you know my team works weekends as well? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, day or night. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., doesn't matter. They work all day, every day, every hour. Now, some of you guys are probably having heart attacks just listening to that. Your heads might be exploding. You might be holding onto your chair like, oh, 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 oh my God, oh my, is that even, even, it, what, human rights? What, what, what's going on? No one's asked anyone to do that. No one's asked anyone to do that. Do you have that desire that says, if I am attached to something I love, I will go all out until I get it? Or do you say, I want to be a traitor, but there is this new episode of Game of Thrones that's out. Okay, one episode. And then uh, I'll see what there is on the charts. Okay. It'll take very, very, very long that way. Now, how many of you guys in this room are offended? How many of you guys in this room are offended? Okay. Now, if you're getting offended by what I'm saying, good, there's hope. That means you know somewhere inside it's the truth. You know somewhere inside it's the truth. But where the energy is spent is trying to tell me, no, I am wrong and making some excuses of why you are like this. You're spending the energy in the wrong direction. Why don't you just fix it? Spend the energy, instead of trying to prove to me who you are, spend the energy and do it and do the things that you want to do in life and make your life better. What does it matter what I think? Right? Why don't you just do it? What does it matter? Why do you have to prove to me on who you are and no, I am not like this and that? Just do it then. Right? So the reason why 
I'm talking like this to you, then the reason why I need to push you guys a little bit, sometimes you need to have a wake up call. And with the wake up call, sometimes people like it, sometimes they part ways. We might be parting ways after this webinar. Maybe we've already parted ways with half of the people, they probably left. And that's okay. Let me be the person that tells you, no, you're not good enough. Get off your butt, get to work. You're not good enough. Sometimes you need to hear that because I can't sit here, keep telling you over and over again, good job, keep up the good work. Good job, keep up the good. I did that for 10 years. What's the results? What's the results? I've done that for 10 years. I've been telling you, good job, keep up the good work. Good job, keep up the good work. What has this got you so far? It's not doing crap, right? So why do you want people to make you feel good? You need to be okay with being uncomfortable and hear the hard reality at times. And that's okay. This is a lot easier for people in the East. If you come from India, Malaysia, Indonesia, um, Africa, you are raised with really tough parents who expect a lot from you. When you come from the West, it's the, the society has changed a little bit because your parents did all the hard work and they don't want you to do the hard work. So you sort of have this thing of, I want everything in life, but I don't wanna do anything in life. The goal is I wanna have a lot of money so I don't do anything. So the goal in life is to be dead. That's the goal in life is to be dead. I wanna do nothing, that's the goal. The goal is to make money to do nothing. I just wanna sit there on the beach and do nothing. Right. So it's the harsh reality, but someone's got to give you that wake up call. Right. Someone's got to give it to you. And if it's if, if it's coming from me, it might come from somebody else. It might come from a parent. It might come from a loved one. Um, and you might take it as no one talks to me like that. And you might walk away from it. And that's fine. But I want to tell you the way I'm treating you right now costs you nothing. It costs you nothing. But when you go with this attitude into the market, they will take every penny from you. And when I say they, I don't mean there is a whole institution saying, come here, let me take every penny. from." No, no, come on. The market works in a certain rhythm, the way the market moves. Wall Street's doing its thing to make money. Retail traders are doing their thing to make money. The market itself is trying to do their thing to make money. They're trying to negotiate price all the time. In all of this chaotic mess, you are entering saying, oh, I want to make a lot of money so I can buy a Ferrari. You're going to get run over. You're jumping into traffic with a very soft attitude. You're jumping into traffic with a very, the world is a beautiful place and me and my bunnies are, are going to be soft and cuddly. You have to toughen up a little bit more. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Rico is saying, I feel offended, but thanks anyways to remind me. Okay, good, good. Good, I'm glad. Um, Marcus is saying, I'd like uncomfortable situation. Reward is great. Good. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be releasing next week a hardcore training program. Hardcore, which means what you're seeing right now is I'm being nice to you. Okay, I'm actually being nice to you. I'm going to get in your skin. I'm going to tear you apart until you do not perform. That means... If I have to make you skip things that are important to you, then so be it. Then so be it. You, you, you have to understand one thing. When you are sitting at home and you saying, I want to be a trader and you spend an ounce, even, even $1. Okay. I'm not talking about a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars or 50,000. I'm talking about $1. If you spend $1 on something and you don't give it love and respect, who are you actually disrespecting except yourself? You're paying money to learn something because you were excited, but then the excitement is gone. You're just disrespecting yourself. So sometimes people don't have the habit of being accountable. Let's change that. Let's change that. What if I'm accountable for you? What if I get up and whip you every day and saying, what the hell are you doing? What is EURUSD doing today and why aren't you on it? 
do the whole recap. Tell me what did you miss and why? What if I can get on your case? What if my team can get on your case? What if we don't let you sleep until you solve it? Sometimes a strict measure is needed for you to reach your goals because you're not doing the things required for you to reach your goals. You just have goals with zero action. Goals without action means nothing. Nothing. You can have all the desires in the world. Okay? You can have all the desires in the world, but if you're not doing anything towards it all day, every day, every hour, that your body realizes, I need to get this because this guy is torturing me otherwise, it's not going to happen. You have to do it over and over and over again. And in this process, you will fall over and over and over again. You're going to fall. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to make losses. You're going to make issues with margin calls at times. You have to learn. You have to get up. You have to fight. How many of you guys in this room have had multiple accounts blown up in the past? How many of you guys in this room have multiple accounts blown up in the past? Right? How many of you guys in this room, you have a strategy, but then as you're trading and the moment you open the trade, the strategy goes, you don't follow the strategy anymore. You are now in it to win it, whatever it takes. Suddenly you've lost all focus on analysis and strategy and it's you and the market. Come on, come on, we gotta make money. Why? It's because your goal is not strong enough to tell you what the hell are you doing? This is not how you make money. What are you doing? Someone needs to hold you accountable and, and, and smack you on the back of your head and say, what is this? What is this nonsense that you did? You had a whole plan. What, what is this crap that you've done on one trade? Imagine if you did that with all of your trades in the past, someone breathing down your neck and holding you accountable saying, what is this? What is this garbage? Are you stupid or what? What is this nonsense you're creating day in and day out with no learning curve and you come in the next day and you repeat the same garbage all over again? You have to fix the things. You have to fix that thing. Okay. Now, how many of you guys in this room are feeling, okay, okay, I, I, I get that, but how do I trade? I, I, I get that, but uh, what is the strategy? How do I make money? You see this thing inside of you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let, let's get to the good stuff. You can't handle it. You can't handle it. You want the short, you want the answer now. What if I say this whole webinar, I'm not going to give you the answer. I'm not going to tell you how to trade. Can you sit still? Probably not. Probably not. It all depends. What is it that you're trying to get out of life? Okay. So it's very important to touch base on this. Now, now, if we bring everything together, so a lot of you guys have done the preparation, right? Okay, a lot of you guys have done the preparation. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I, I wanted you guys to understand the difference between the store owner and the buyer, the, the stuff that I have given you uh, to prepare for, right? Now, I want, I want you to understand the, the, the key important elements here, okay? The key important elements, which is when the market starts to move, Okay, answer these questions. When does, when does the market start to move the most? When does it move the most? Okay, uh, Zara, you're saying, uh, sending love and gratitude. Excuse me, sending love and gratitude from Iran. Okay, okay, great, great. Welcome. Okay, okay. So a lot of you guys are saying opening hours, news events. Good. Why do you guys trade outside of these hours. Don't do it. If that's the time the market moves and if that's the time there is demand and that's the time you're supposed to service somebody, why do you trade any other hour? You're playing the lottery? Don't trade any other hour. 
If you don't know what you're doing outside of those hours, don't do it. The easiest time to make money is around these opening hours. That's the easiest time because if market moves, people panic. People want those orders. People want to sell those orders. Help them out. Provide the service. Provide the service. Do it well enough and get paid. Okay. So for this reason, okay, let me open up the uh, whiteboard here real quick. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to draw a circle. Let me know when you guys can see it. Yeah. All good. Excellent. 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 Okay. Now, if the market starts to go in a certain way, right? And you're like, oh, there's demand. Okay. There's demand for whatever this product is. In this case, instead of going and talking about fruits and stuff, let's talk about some Forex stuff. Yeah. So in this case, the demand is for Swiss franc yen, for example. I'm just labeling a currency here. Okay. Okay. Is Swiss franc yen. Now, what is the number one thing for you to do as of right now? I'm not going to give you the answer. You tell me. Type it in the chat box right now. What is your job as of right now and how would you do it? You tell me. So good. A lot of you guys are saying these are unfulfilled orders. Okay, the markets are moving. Good. Buyers want Swiss franc. I need a discount. Okay, so uh, Gagsu. Good. Excellent. Trader Dave, you're saying wait for a discount. Wait for a better price. Okay, wait for a pullback. Good. Good. So a lot of you guys are saying, I want to see something come down. Something come down. Okay. Now, I'm going to stop you right there. Stop you right there. If that's, you know, that's what you need to do. Can you explain to me why many of you monkeys out there are buying up here? Why do you buy that? If you know this information, do you not respect your knowledge? Why do you buy up there? Starting today, cut it up. Cut it up. Stop buying up there. You know that's not the right thing to do. Wait for a discount. What is that? Is that a discount? That's 1% discount. You want to buy up there? Cut it up. Cut it up. Stop buying that purple area. Okay. Okay. Don't get pulled in. Don't get pulled in. Now, once price comes down for a discount, once price comes in for a discount, what now? What is it that you're looking to do now? You tell me. Okay. A lot of you guys are saying you're waiting for a better price. Um, all right. Uh, smack, smack me more. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Waiting to see if the buyer is interested. Very good. Uh, RMC. Okay. RMC. You're waiting for a higher low on rocks. Very good. You're waiting for a money spot. Uh, Keith. Very good. Okay. You're waiting for money spot. Okay. Many of you guys are saying money spot. Excellent. Okay, those of you guys who do not know what money spot is, this is something we teach um, in our courses. Money spot is basically the area where the buyers and sellers fight. Okay, where the buyers and sellers fight. Now, okay, let me, okay. Uh, hold on a second from the chat. Look at this now. When prices rose up, it basically means there are dudes who didn't get filled, right? Saying they wanted it so badly that they had to buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Does this look like there are dudes who want it so badly? Does the blue area look like there's dudes who want it so badly? Don't get FOMO. Don't get involved. Do not touch that blue area. Don't get FOMO. Don't get involved. What is your job? Get in, get out, make a quick buck. Okay, not scalping, not scalping. Okay, you want to get in, you want to get out, you want to make a quick buck from this thing. Don't touch the blue area. Let it come, let it come. Think of it this way. 
Think of it this way, okay? This is you. You want to buy a car. Uh, this is the worst car ever. Hold on. Okay. This is you, and you want to buy, I don't know, um, a phone. Okay. Let, let's say you want to buy a phone. This is the biggest phone on the planet. Okay. You want to buy a phone, okay? And the phone that was at $1,000 suddenly goes 900 800 700 600 Do you want to buy it? Or are you going to think, well, if it's coming down in price, let it come down. What's the problem? Why do you need to buy it now? If it's coming, let it come down. Don't interfere. If they're giving a discount, let them. Let them give a discount. It is when this moment happens where you start saying, huh, why is the discount not coming anymore? Why is the discount not coming? They were always making lower lows the whole time. And now the discount's not coming. And then it does this. Do you want to buy it? Do you want to buy it? Let me ask all of you guys right now. Do you want to buy it? That little squiggly part that I just drew here. Do you want to buy it? I want to ask you one question. This squiggly part I drew right here, does that represent anything like this? Does it say, oh my God, I want to buy it. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. They're not desperate yet. Don't get in. I don't care if that's a higher high, higher low sequence. Don't get in. Don't get in. Okay? Okay. Now we're talking. Now you know these guys are back fighting again, saying, come on, this is the best price you can do. Give it to me. Give me all the stock you have. Give it all to me. And the war begins again. The bidding war. I want this price. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. You want to be involved in these areas. This is the area you want to be involved in. The entire blue scenario that has led up to this point, you need to be This is what you have to be until the blue area comes down and turns. You have to be a master of Zen. You just have to sit there and be like, let it come. Let it come. It's no problem. Let it bloody come. It's no problem. It is when things go a little bit crazier, when they're back into action, is when you need to say, okay, time to go to work. But you don't have this thing that says, I have to do something now. I have to do something now. Otherwise, 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 calm down. Just wait. Just wait. So, let me tell you all of this thing right now. The difference between you and your success and all of your goals is this. Is your ability to understand that blue part to the best of your knowledge. Now, if you know that's what needs to be done for you to make a single penny in the market, if you know this information now, then conquer it. I want when a pullback comes in like this, or if it comes in in this format, or if it comes in in this format, I want you to be a PhD in the pullback. 
when whatever that blue thing comes up with in whatever shape, way or form, you need to look at that and be like, I can crush all of them. I will put in countless hours to study that because what is standing in between me and my goal and my success is that bloody blue thing. I need to master that blue part. That blue part is where I need to put all my focus on. If that means I have to study Fibonacci, I will study Fibonacci. If that means I need to study wave Elliot's, I know I will study wave Elliot waves. If that means I need to um, hire some morons from YouTube to teach me on this, I will do that. If I, if, you know, do whatever it takes, learn everything and anything, because that's the only thing between you and your success is that blue part. Is that blue part. You talk about timing. You talk about strategy. One is you know where the job is. You know where the money is. What's missing is time. How do I do this? How many variations are there? There's a million. And each variation might take 100 hours to learn. Will you do it? Or will you say, ah, that's too much work. Um, SNR, I got it. I got a shortcut. If it reaches SNR, I buy it. Oh, I got it. I got a shortcut. If it reaches a uh, 61.8%, I buy it. Do you think you're the only one on the planet who's come up with that? You're going to join the 1% with that? You, you're going to wake up one morning and, and show up to the billionaire's lounge and saying, hey, guys, I bought 61.8%. That's what you guys are all doing, right? No homework, no studying, no hard work, just, just buying at 61.8%. Come on. Put in the damn work. What's wrong with you? Stop looking for shortcuts. Figure it out. Figure it out. Learn what is needed to be learned. How does that pullback come in? What are the different variations? Why do they have different variations? How long does it take? Does it get affected by the time of day? Why does it not work in the middle of the night? Why does it work only during the opening hours? During the opening hours, is there market manipulation? Why is there market manipulations? How does Wall Street look at this area? How do retail traders look at this area? Where do people put their stop losses? Where should I put my stop losses? Have you answered all those questions? Or are you simply looking for <gasps> SNR line, baby? It's at the SNR line. Buy it. 61.8% buy it. Oh, I'm going to draw a box. Anywhere in the box, I buy it. And then you'll realize, why is my stop loss 80 pips wide? Your stop loss is like 80 pips wide. Well, why, why do you have to do that? Why do you have to do that? Why can't you just sit there, figure it out, get good, hit the entry, put your stops, and conquer? And if that means... 5,000 losing trades until you get there, then you do that. But you do that. You need to know where you're headed, what's the goal line, and then you do whatever it takes to hit the goal. Okay? It doesn't mean, ah, I tried the SNR. It didn't work. So, uh, you know, trend pullback is not for me. I I'm going to do the opposite. I'm a counter trend trader now. I'm going to... You know, once it reaches supply, I hit it from the supply and <gasps> exit. Oh, it's, um, you know, what uh, What I do now is um, because uh, trend pullback didn't work and counter trends didn't work. What I do now is you see the high of the day. Once we break the high of the day, I hit the cells and then <gasps> exit. I don't know where it's going. I'll just get out now. Someone told me that I need to do this. So I just do that. Isn't that silly? Isn't that why most people go to college and get a job and because someone said so? And somewhere inside, you know, this is messed up. What am I doing here? I don't understand. They're not teaching me anything about money here. And all we're doing our whole life is trying to get money, but they don't teach anything about money in here. So what am I doing here? But yet, when we come to the market, we, we repeat the same thing. Someone said to do this, so I just do this. So I'm telling you, 
because this is free, this is not paid, I'm not going to give you everything, okay? I'm not going to spoon feed you, but I will give you an area of where your focus needs to be, where your focus needs to be. So, boom, boom, and boom. The red line is the money. The first red line is the job. You need to figure out when do you get the money and how do you get the money? Because they want the buy, they're gonna get the buy. Are you gonna get the buy? How well can you read their behavior when they're watching this come down as well? What is the giveaway when they come in? You're more focused on that. You have to be more focused on that, not the fact that it has reached an SNR. You, you see this, it has broken a trend line. And now that it's broken a trend line and we go swimming to the other side and then it's come 61.8% and then this and then that. Did you, are you sure that once you see all that you've cracked and what's going on in his mind, can you feel his pain or pleasure for that's it. I'm going to get in now. Or are you just putting a template on top of what you think he might be doing? So therefore, it must be right. Why don't you cut out the nonsense in the middle and go straight to the source? You know he wants to buy it. Is he buying it yet? Is he buying it yet? What's he doing now? I wonder if he needs to build a lot of orders because he's not trading one lot like me. He needs to trade 1,000, 2,000, 100,000 lots a million lots. He's not going to get filled so easily. So he needs to do it in pieces. Is that him? Is that him doing things in pieces? Oh, it ran away. Did he mess up? Is that why it's running away? Did he hit the buy order too hard? Will it come back down to collect more orders? Will it rise back up after that? huh, I have to solve all this stuff. Once I solve all this stuff, I need to position myself in all this stuff. And once I position myself in all this stuff, I need to do money management with all this stuff. And once I do money management and all this stuff, then I need to make sure my broker is okay with this. Okay. There's a little rant I have to tell you guys, okay? Don't get me wrong. If you're starting off in Forex, and your main concern is how many monitors do I need? Okay. How many monitors do I need? Um, what broker should I be with? Okay. What broker should I be with? And, and um, how, where should I incorporate my company so I don't have to pay taxes? You pay tax on money. You pay tax on income. Where is the income? Show me that first. Stop worrying about tax. What is wrong with you? You pay tax on the money you earn. You don't pay tax on zero. You're worrying about stuff that is so useless. It's ridiculous. I, I, I want to slap these people. Like, what, what is wrong with you? Why are you worried about taxes now as if you've made a billion dollars? Make at least a dollar. And then we'll talk taxes. Right? Just something I'm trying to share with you guys. Don't worry about the wrong things. Worry about what is needed. Everything else will be taken care of. Everything else will be taken care of. Okay. All right. Okay. Everything so far. Making sense so far? Do you have a blueprint of what needs to be done? Is there a blueprint? Can I hold you accountable after this webinar? Can I hold you accountable after this webinar? Okay, before we get back into the charts now, if I say from this moment onwards, you're on the clock. Okay, you're on the clock. That person you see in the mirror whenever you go to the bathroom is pissed off, is extremely pissed off because you are not good enough. You're, 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 you're coasting. You're just lazy. 
You're there, you're putting in the work, but you're a zombie putting in the work. You're not alive, you're not curious, you're not hungry, you're just there. Because someone said, all you gotta do is show up, so I showed up. Uh, they just said, if you're there, it'll rub off on you, so I'm here. It's, I, I think it's rubbing off on me. <laughs> Be alive, be alive. Stop dying inch by inch, day by day. Again, if you look back at your last 24 hours and I ask you to give me a detailed report on what you did, you'll be surprised of how much nonsense is in there. And that's why you haven't reached your goals. You'll be surprised of how much nonsense is in that report. Especially those of you who can't even give me the report. Okay? Now, a lot of you guys, uh, I wanted to show you guys one thing here, okay? I want to show you guys one thing here. Let's take a look at this, okay? What we did, what we did, let me see if I can share my screen in this area here. Here we go. You guys can see my screen? I don't know if that's uh, easy to see or not. Uh, okay, let's try it out. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. So what we did we, when we made market beats, right? Uh, I think my face might be uh, covering it. <laughs> well, I truly didn't think about it this way. But what, what I'm basically trying to show you guys is our market beats application, right? So what we did was, remember how I was telling you guys that uh, when, the market, when the market is active and it moves, there's 28 pairs that I have my team manually go through, manually, okay? It is vital that I teach my team to do everything manually first. I want them to learn the hard way, okay? So what we do is we look at the markets every morning and we say, where is the money? Where is the job? Where is the demand? I don't want to see Aussie USD alone. I want to see Aussie USD, Aussie CAD, Aussie New Zealand, Aussie Yen, Aussie Swiss, Aussie uh, Swiss franc. I want to see all of them saying the same thing. When I see all of that saying the same thing, I'm like, the demand is not on Aussie USD. The demand is on Aussie. That is the strongest demand you can cater to. If you have to work for someone that's going to give you commission, work for the biggest. You guys understand that logic, right? If you have to work for somebody, why don't you work for someone the biggest of the biggest because your commission is going to be bigger, right? You have to do the same amount of work if you have to sell a house in a small neighborhood versus selling a house in Hollywood. It's the same amount of work. What does it require? Just time. That's it. It's just time. Your efforts and all that stuff, it's just time. It goes away in 24 hours and it's the past. It's gone. So there's no such thing as, oh, but that's hard work. And uh, Shut up. It's not hard work. It's just time. You have to understand that. It's just time. Because it will become the past very quickly. Okay, it will become the past really quickly. So don't be afraid of work. It is the past very quickly. Okay, so if you have to cater, if you have to do the servicing, I use Market Beats as a shortcut. Okay, this is something one of my teammates, he's, he's developed this because he's got a wife and kids and he's very busy, but he doesn't want to miss out on the pulse of the market. He needs to know, what am I doing today? Where's my job? What am I doing today? Where's my job? What am I supposed to do? What am I going to do? If he knows where the job is, 50% of the job is done. 50% of the work is done. Now he can look at it and be like, let me see the blue part. The blue part, let me see if I can grab it just right. But I know where the job is. I know what the job is. I have to provide services. So in this case, 14 hours ago, we had... Uh, some of the news events here, that some, some of the activities. Now, this activity, it's 
it's programmed through artificial intelligence in the back end from our stuff. What it's looking for is multiple things. It's looking for uh, volume. It's looking for ATR. It's looking for sudden movements in the market. It's looking for correlation. It's looking for um, how much in sync it is versus something else. It's measuring all of that thing and it spits out. You need to put your attention on this currency right now. You need to put your attention on this currency because this time frame is on the move. Look at it right now. Figure it out and see why is it on the move? Is it already part of a move that is launching? Or you can get the next launch that is coming up. Okay. So it basically tells you where is the job today? Where is your job today? If this thing doesn't go on, I'm not working today. Okay. So it actually tells you where is the job today? Okay. Obviously, after this webinar, you know, Ian will give you a little bit more thorough uh, uh, understandings of this thing. I think he's he's put together um, uh, some videos and stuff where he can share with you guys. So some of you guys, if you guys want to see this in action on a day to day basis, then uh, uh, Ian can uh, send you some emails out on a re regular basis on a daily basis and tell you. This thing went up today. Here's the chart. This is how the trade should have been caught. Did you catch it? OK, so he will show you the power uh, of the market beat. So as of right now, it is available only on the App Store. The, what is that called? Uh, on your computer desktops and laptops only. It is not available for Windows just yet. We're working on it. Calm down. We're working on it. Uh, but it's available on the App Store. It is now released. It is now available. And uh, you have a seven-day free trial anyway. So just go ahead and try it out instantaneously. Uh, you know, you'll 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 thoroughly enjoy it as much as I do. It, it has a lot of cool features and functionalities. You know, you can open it up and see details from the past and uh, all kinds of stuff. So if you want to see history, you can do that as well. Okay, so it's called Market Beats. This is the logo as you see it. And you'll see it on the Mac App Store, not the iPhone. It's for your laptop and desktop. It sits on the menu bar on the top. Yeah, it's coming for Windows soon. Okay, it's coming for Windows soon. I promise. It'll be there. It'll be there. Okay. Okay. So that's one thing I wanted to share with you guys, just to put your attention in the right spot. It's like, okay, if you're looking at charts, if... A lot of your work is going to be in the blue part in trying to figure out how to solve that to the best of your abilities. Then at least the job of knowing what to trade, done, done. The focus is there. Work on this difficult phase. Solve that difficult phase. Conquer that difficult phase. So I want to ask all of you guys this one question right now. SNRs, if the blue area comes to an SNR, do you want to buy it? If it comes down to 61.8%, you want to buy it? Do you want to bind, blah, 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 blah. Do you want to blindly buy anything? You don't blindly buy anything in real life. Why are you doing it in the markets? So going forward, I, this is the way you, you're going to have to think. Each trade, you treat it as if everything depends on that one trade. If I have to put a gun to your head and saying, don't mess up this trade, then don't mess up that trade. Do it very slow, very carefully. Try to understand it the best of your ability. Don't mess up with your stupid emotions. Anyone telling you, oh, it's not a technique issue. The issue is in your psychology. Bring him to me. I will slap him hard. You have psychology issues because you can't wake up and do the job. That's why you have psychology issues. You can solve it through education. You can solve it through education. Get in there and get the job done. What is wrong with that? Why do you have to always blame it on a different excuse another day? Oh, I am not here because of this. I am not here because of that. I am not here because of this. Every YouTuber is going to feed off of that and tell you, you're right. You do suck. It's your psychology that's an issue. 
Let me give you a four video series of why your psychology is an issue and you're going to do nothing about it. You're just going to consume, 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 and someone else will tell you something else is wrong with you, and you're going to consume, 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 but zero action will ever be taken, and all you will look for is another excuse. Not my students. If that is you, do not come into Urban Forex. The doors are now closed for those type of people. Done. No more. If you're not doing a good job, I'm not going to tell you you're doing a good job. I'm not going to give you high hopes and pat you on the back saying, oh, yes, yeah, you can do it. No. If you're not doing a good job, I will tell you to your face, what the hell is this? This is a horrible job. Get back in there. Do it again. Go strong. Go all out. Or don't do it at all. Go strong. Go all out. Or don't do it at all. Don't half-ass anything. If you have other things to do that you'd rather be doing, then do those other things. Don't come here. Go do those other things. Stop wasting my time. Stop wasting your own time. Go do those things. Yeah? All right, guys. You guys had a lot of motivation today, a lots of stuff to focus on. I've given you the exact blueprint on what needs to be done. Okay, I've given you the keys to the castle. You know what's going to happen? 1% is going to actually use the keys to the castle and open the doors. The rest is going to hold the key and be like, one day I will go inside. One day I will go inside. Let me watch Netflix. Let me just quickly scroll through Instagram. Let me look at this next cat video. You're better than this. You're better than this. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to your families. You owe it to the people who rely on you. Stop messing up. Stop messing up. You're wasting time and you're never going to get it back. Stop messing around. All right, guys. Until next time. Cheers.